Today I'm going to give you some essential tips for X Defiant. The rank mode is getting ready to come out. You can practice for now, but the actual season is coming soon. So I'm going to give you some tips to help you out with overall gameplay, movement, and just to help you win more gunfights in general. First, this is more for the newer players. If you go to play, you can actually just go to the practice zone and have a lot of tools available to you. So what I mean by this is I'm going to select my character. We have the assault course firing range and we have the abilities and ultras but that's not unlocked yet but i like to go over here this part is really important if you go over here you actually have the spray board it says use the board to learn about your weapons recoil pattern and inherent bullet spread i got my m4a1 i'm gonna just shoot hold down the trigger and as you can see this allows me to see my recoil pattern so i know when i aim at somebody's head my pattern's gonna go this way so i gotta keep that in mind when i shoot i gotta make sure i aim maybe down to the left a little bit so for tip number two we have to look back at some of the updates they recently removed the bunny hop and the crouch spam if i aim forward and i crouch real quick if you could see my aim is getting way off and the same happens if i jump but if you notice there's a small period of time that it doesn't happen in as you can see it's happening now but if I do it a couple times, it doesn't really happen. So I wanna keep in mind that small period of time that I have to do this. So you can actually engage in gunfights and still kind of crouch, but you can't do it a lot. You can do it like twice, that's about it, but you can't spam it like you used to or else your aim will get thrown off. But you still got a good amount of time to do it before that happens. Same goes for the jumping. And going along with tip number two is when you engage into a gunfight, one of my favorite movements to do is actually slide and then jump at the end and then aim. It helps me win gunfights all the time. So I'm gonna slide, jump, and aim. And you can go either left or right with this, but you wanna like slide and then strafe at the end of that slide along with a jump. So we're gonna slide and then jump. You don't wanna constantly do it because your aim of course would be thrown off. But when playing rank modes, things like that, you're gonna see a lot of people doing things like this. So you wanna be able to catch on and throw people off yourself. For tip number three, when looking at your radar, sometimes you'll have hollow dots rather than full solid dots. The full solid dots are the players that's on your level. The hollow dots are the players that's on the opposite level. And a hollow dot pops up on my radar, that means he's either above me or below me, depending on what map it is, or depending on what position you are on the map. That's something I had to catch on to. For tip number four, and this is sliding. So I wanted you to think of X Defiant similar to Apex Legends. The sliding isn't exactly the same, but it's very similar. So first off, whenever I slide, I lose all this momentum. I don't wanna lose this momentum, I wanna keep it. So whenever I slide, you wanna slide, jump at the end to keep that momentum. This helps you retain that momentum and retain the overall speed, which is always helpful. So if you notice any ramps on the map, this will also help you keep momentum, as you can see. And this leads me into my other tip. If you notice, I have my pistol out. I'm a lot quicker with my pistol rather than my assault rifle. As you can see, I'm sprinting with my assault rifle. Swap, swap to my pistol, I'm a lot quicker. And combining this with the sliding movement and keeping that momentum, you're gonna be moving quick and you can use this to throw your opponents off really easily. Next, we have something that I think is really underused in this game and that's EMPs. So if you throw an EMP, you can of course break a shield if you need to or you can cancel out your opponent's abilities. So if you really don't wanna run a normal grenade or a flash grenade, EMP grenades are really good. They're really underrated in my opinion. So for my next tip, this is also in the practice range. If you go to the right side of the practice range, as you can see, you have the weapon evaluation. You can learn about the details of your weapon. So I have my M4A1 here. And if I shoot at this target and I look at the bottom right, it'll tell me that I have five bullets to kill with 62% accuracy. So this is pretty nice because I can shoot at these other ones. For example, it takes five bullets to kill. And now let's go to the last one. Of course, it took seven bullets to kill because it, it's at the further range. So this will allow you to get a good gauge of where your weapon's at, where you should be engaging with people at. And overall, just really useful because most games don't have things like this. So for this next tip, we're going to change your HUD placement. So you're going to press pause. You're going to go to the settings. Then you're going to go to gameplay and UI. Then you're going to scroll down until you see adjust HUD limits. And as you can see, if I adjust this, make this a little smaller. Go down with the vertical, kind of squish it together just a little bit. This will allow me to be able to look at my radar and all my other information a lot easier. As you can see, with it being closer to the center of your screen, you don't have to glance all the way up to the top left. It's gonna be just a little bit closer so you can go back and forth a little bit quicker, giving you a little advantage. Of course, this might not be for everybody, but in my opinion, I think it really helps out. All right, so for the next tip, that's gonna be mine placement. So I have the proximity mine. As you can see, I got a bit of gameplay going on right now. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this mine on the steps or on the ramp so they can't see it. It's almost a guaranteed kill. <laughs> he just defies that and jumps over the mine. Usually it's a guaranteed kill, but this guy, this guy's different. You place your mines in a good spot. For example, a guy just ran through the spot. People like to run through this area. So I'm gonna place a mine right here. That's gonna be almost a guaranteed kill. And while that mine's in this area, I'm gonna hold the right side. Oh my God, did he shoot it? So much for that tip. And for my last tip, simply you want to aim for the head. And that's a lot more complicated than it sounds. For one, going back to one of my other tips, you wanna pay attention to that recoil pattern. As you can see, this is my M4, so it's going up to the right. So I wanna aim most likely at the left shoulder. That's gonna give me a good head shot. You just pay attention to your recoil pattern you'll land some headshots but that's all i got if you want to see more videos like this let me know by hitting that like button and if you really enjoy these videos maybe even try subscribing with all that being said i'll see you in the next video